Julian, <laughs> what do you make of everything that they've been waffling on about? It all make a lot of sense. I mean, the most impressive for me tonight, again, was that belief. It's a bit like what the Arsenal Invincibles at the time on that season. I think Liverpool go to every single game in the Premier League and probably in Europe as well, almost knowing they're not going to lose. Even if they struggle for 15 minutes, even if they're on the back foot for 15 minutes or 20 minutes, I think they have that core belief that no one can beat them and that at some point they will have another chance to win the game or at least not lose it. And, and tonight was the prime example. I was watching that game thinking they will have another chance and they probably will take it. And that's exactly what happened. And I think the positive thing as well, and our club would be very happy, and, and Thomas Gronmark as well, the, the throwing coach, is that that second goal comes from a move that they probably worked a lot on our training, the movement of Firmino and Salah on that long throw in by Alexander Arnold. And then they get a bit lucky maybe with the way they don't care, clear that ball or half clear that ball. And then Henderson slots it to Firmino. But it's, you know, you, you have a throwing coach. You're the only team in Europe in those big clubs to have a throwing coach. And on a game like this, where you're not really playing well, where you're struggling, then you pull out one of those moves that you work on at training. And I think that's even more satisfying. Oh, you got him going, Jules. <laughs> you got him going. <laughs> <laughs> Throw in coach. Oh, <laughs> there he is. Oh, no. Hold on a second. Oh, no. no we got a big one. Oh, no, it's down. Because it came from a throw in, <laughs> it's well done, the throw in coach. Because you know what? We didn't have a throw in coach. That would never have happened. I mean, who, who do they blame when, when Arnold Gander and Arnold whipped that corner in for, for, for Origi against Barcelona? Was that a corner coach, was it? <laughs> Absolute nonsense. Alexander Arnold saw what was on and did it. Exactly what it did today. <laughs> God, jeez. <laughs> By the way, can somebody what's tell the, me? What's the nonsense? Hey, seriously. What's what the nonsense? Qualifications? What, okay, well, what how, much, how much do, do they you pay need? that coach? <laughs> Too much. How much do they pay that coach? Too much. <laughs> why, would they have a, why would they have a coach like that Just. on the staff? Why would Jürgen Klopp insist for his contract to be renewed and, 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 and with a pay rise only a few months after he arrived at the club? Can you Why tell do they me? have a throwing coach right. in the start oh, then, if, oh, if oh, according okay. to you, it's useless? Okay, so when you're looking for a throwing coach, what qualifications do you need? <laughs> but the, the guy is a scientific. The guy has worked this... Scientific. You know, this is not just someone they picked out in the street. The guy, you know, the guy with Michelin, it was, it was clear that they were, that was working, that, you know, he improved the team a lot on that level. It's just, it's like set pieces. You work on set pieces at training. When you were a coach, you worked on set pieces, right? This is another set piece. Absolutely, yeah. I don't think it's that crazy to have someone putting combinations together. It might not work and you might not benefit a lot from it in a season, but I think there's moments where, you know, you're going to do something with movement on the throw-in that the other team doesn't expect. <laughs> you know you're running away with the league Honestly, when... Seriously. <laughs> when but the conversation is thrown Hold on. Have they got a goal... Have they got a... A, a goalkeeper coach. A goal <laughs> kick. Have they got a goal <laughs> kick coach? But, if, but it doesn't hurt. <laughs> so can walk it, it, it doesn't hurt, does it? I know it, it doesn't hurt. So it just, why would it make you well, so angry? You I think club... It just annoys me because people, you people, don't turn around and, you, people turn around and say, oh, well, clearly they walked on that in training. But they did. Yeah. <laughs> you think club, you think club is Let me tell you. I'll tell you what. Do you know what, Jules? And I'm, I'm actually going to be really, really serious here, right? Oh, OK. Here we go. I would love, at the end of the year, when the, when the, when the goalkeeping coach at the end of the year looks at all the throw-ins, I'd love to know the percentages of what ones they ended up using and working during the season than the ones they didn't. And we're never going to know that. Because football... The majority of football, whether it's free kicks, throw-ins, you name it, it's all about a player on the ball seeing something, making a decision. Yes, you have routines that you work on, but, but a large part of football is all about what's going on in a footballer's brain. But I would love to see it. I really would. And then I would, and then I would have a serious argument. Because clearly, I'm not going to argue that Klopp's, Klopp's a sensible guy, he's a smart guy, He's got a throwing coach probably for a reason. My argument is, I mean, come on. I'm not, I'm not so sure that none of them can do that. Are you telling me that Klopp and all the... How many other coaches have got? Four? Are you telling me that they can't work out throw-ins? <laughs> but <laughs> it works, clearly. They're a million points at the but, top but, of the table. But that's what I'm saying. You, you don't know. That throw-in that happened today... But why does it matter? It just annoys me. <laughs> <laughs> what annoys you more, throwing coaches or Salah? Or throwing coaches. <laughs>
Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.